If your family bought a painting from Van Gogh himself back in 1890, would that have been a good investment for the family's fortune? That seems like a stupid question to even ask. His paintings could sell for more than a hundred million dollars today. That must have been the investment of the century. But, to be fair, it is literally more than a century ago. Van Gogh made a lot of paintings and he traded and sold a couple. But there is only one painting of which we know the selling price, because it was the only one sold at an exhibition. It was the Red Vineyards near Arles and sold for 400 francs in 1890, just a few months before he ended his life. 400 francs in 1890 could buy the same amount of gold as roughly 80 dollars could, but to get a sense of the real costs, at that time the median French male made about 100 francs a month. For women it was 55, because uh, at different times I guess, uh, I don't know. Anyway, if we take four times today's median wage in France, that painting sold for the equivalent of 6 to 8 thousand dollars. And if we just look at inflation, it would have sold for today's equivalent of two or three thousand dollars. Both possibilities sound perfectly fair to me. He didn't get ripped off. So let's use this price of eighty dollars for our calculation. Sadly, this specific painting hasn't been sold in the last 100 years. So we don't have a recent price for it. But let us assume for now that our distant family bought Van Gogh's most expensive painting ever sold. And that painting was conveniently last sold exactly 100 years later in 1990 for 82 and a half million dollars. That gives us an average annual return of 14.85%. And is that good? Well, that's better than the S&P 500 index fund, which has averaged about 10.5% over its lifetime. But it's worse than Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors ever, which averaged about 20% with his holding company Berkshire Hathaway. So that 14% seems pretty good. But we have to remember that we looked at the most expensive painting of Van Gogh and only 10 of his paintings last sold for an amount that would beat the index in a similar fashion. And he made more than 900 paintings. So only about 1% beat the index. I don't think I would call that a good investment. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. That way I might be able to make some money with these videos before I cut off my ears. Uh, I mean, that, that way I can make some more time for making these videos besides my commissions. I hope to see you in the next video.